Top Good of the morning. morning. How are you? Having a bonfire an hour before sundown. We got a bunch of people coming over if you want to come. Cool. Yeah. The place looks on, amazing. Right. Freaking looks awesome. It really looks good back No Elijah today? Currently no. Brooklyn looks awesome. This is the front 25 acres here. Um, this wooded area is about this plateau. There used to be a full scale three quarter mile natural train motocross track here. It's actually here still, just under grass. And then out in the field there is about, I don't know, 15 acres. And then we got the pond over there. That's about a three acre area. The pond's actually an acre. Three diving boards, a rock tower over there, the two lifeguard towers on the pond. 22 years of Edward Scissor handing these trees here to come up with this and this little grove of ironwood over here. The big trees, um, the plan was to cut down all the trees that didn't have a future and set it up so the big oaks would all grow together up at the top so this area would be shaded and uh, it's basically there it's almost completely shaded and 20 degrees cooler than it is out in the field stone walls were made over the course of basically a 10-year period as we clean cleared the land we uh stacked all the stones by the property line and built all these walls. It's about three quarters of a mile of stone walls that we built over the years plus the big entryway.
this is the highest spot on the 52 acre compound here and um, this is the area that we've been clearing over the last well 10 years but most of the prog progress happened in the last couple years on this side of the of the ravine and um, this is a killer house site out here for sure if the kids wanted to build a house out here when they grow up <clears throat> who knows maybe they'll move away God only knows but main reason we're hanging on to this is for the kids and the grandkids hopefully they'll want to be a part of this that's actually a wetland area down there no trees growing there but it's all just big tall green grass and we left a seven acre buffer back here of thick woods between us because there's a neighborhood development on the other side so this is 52 acres right on the top of Grant Hill has a high water table ironically even though we're on top of the hill that's why we did the pond there's, there's several wetland areas and we're gonna get a permit from the, apply for a permit from the Wetlands Commission to do further uh, wetland development down at the bottom of the hill there. We're gonna, we wanna put a pond right there, smaller one than the big one we have. But uh, it's a lot of work, man. Every time a tree comes down, you gotta cut it up. So we have the three big fire pits. We have bonfires here all the time. Some beautiful trees out here. We kept all the beech trees, like that one. Any of the trees that, uh, well, 20 years ago, we um, cut down all the trees that uh, didn't have a future, so to speak, uh, and kept the ones <clears throat> that were the healthiest. And you can see the canopy. It's just a, it's a really amazing. It's the middle of summer, but it stays really cool here because of the trees, and we're on top of the hill. So this is the second highest spot. The second knoll this would be a killer spot for a gazebo or something but um it's gonna be awesome uh once this side is it already is awesome but it's gonna be really cool once the landscaping work is finished and it's a lifelong project i'm 22 years into this um when i built the house 17 years ago i took a I took a year off of work and did nothing but work here um it was a it was in a transition period of my life and uh this is what i focused on was was this place and another time I took six months off of work and did the pond. And you might ask, well, how is that possible? How can you take that much time off of work? Well, I don't work like a normal person. I work uh, around the clock when I work. So sometimes I'll, I'll sleep two, three hours and work 22 hours. And I know that sounds crazy, but when you have a goal and a vision and you want to make it happen, that's what it takes. And there's been many days I've I literally f fell asleep right, riding the bulldozer around here at 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, or I just worked around the clock in the computer industry and the motorcycle industry now. But that's what it takes if you want to accomplish something like this. And people fail in life not because they're not capable. There's people that are way smarter than me and way more skilled than me and way more talented and uh, have more potential. But they don't have, they have impotent goals. What do I mean by that? They have goals that don't motivate them. This is a massive goal, and when Junior was just a baby, uh, I remember we'd be at the beach in Rhode Island, and I'd be drawing in the sand my, my plans for this place. I mean, this was a this was a major goal, and it was a lot of money to buy this place and develop it and build the house and the driveways, and I did a little bit at a time. Um, at, a, at one point, I had a $650,000 mortgage on the place when we built the house and um, saved my money up for years to buy the property, but... Having a goal like this will drive you to work like a madman because there is no other way for this to happen unless you put a superhuman effort in. So set your goals high. Whatever it is you want in life, write it down. Set your goals and go for it, and the universe will respond. What will happen is humans' minds are deletion creatures. We only focus on the things that we have for goals or things that we want. And if you don't have any goals, you don't notice anything. But if you have a goal like this, you start noticing all the things that, that will help it become possible. And the, peop the universe just seems to respond and put the right people in place to help you make it happen. Um, like me having the Dirt Ninja Lee get involved with, with the project and my buddy Kurt. And you start attracting people that normally wouldn't be in your life that will help you achieve this goal. It's just it's kind of like a miracle. There's a, a movie called The Secret that talks about it. Uh, Anthony Robbins, one of the great motivational speakers who studied 
all the great motivational speakers and kind of put it all together. They talk about it. Dale Carnegie, if you read Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People, that book, that talks a lot about, he spent a great part of his life putting together that book and uh, talking about what I'm talking about, which is how when you have made your goals and you and you set your goals high, how you'll, the human, they say they use, they say that the humans, you only use 10% of their mental capacity and the people that achieve great things like Edison with a, with a, with a light bulb and, and uh, some of the other great inventors, they, they might have failed a thousand times, but they, they never give up and they start tapping into that other 90% of their mind. And they say that women, I don't know if this is true, but I've, I've heard women use both sides of their brains and, and men usually use one side of the brain and uh, half the time that half of the brain is thinking about food and, and sex so uh, or, or pleasure you know and not on, uh, so when you tap in when you set a goal like this you start tapping into that other 90% of the brain you're not using and you start noticing things that are going to make your dream in your goal a possibility and what i'm standing in right here right now is a dream in a major dream a major dream and a major goal that i have and it's not done uh i i was watching the video about a compound update i'd done last year and i said I, or a couple years ago and i was like i don't know if i'll get this done in my lifetime and i don't know what god has in, in store for me i mean my dad died at 59 i'm 57 but i want to keep plugging away and um hopefully this vision i have here will get completed there's still a lot of work to do i mean we have a ton of work to do on the grounds here. This is all going to be grass in between these trees eventually, or flowers. Uh, we're going to plant woodland flowers mixes in here. So stay tuned. Set your goals high. Dream big. Reach for the stars. And if you fail, you'll even in the in the essence of failing, like what the world thinks is failure, you might still end up on the moon. You might not make it to the stars, but you make it to the moon, and that's that's more than most people. So set your goals high. Whatever, whatever passions you have, go for it. Work hard and dream big.
weekend events. There's our big camper for the winter travel. right here uh, it's a lighted it was a supercross track when, when junior was 15 now it's looks like a golf course because while well, they all moved out and we don't do that much riding here anymore so for maintenance purposes that's what we did but everything i've shown you today was a dream uh, you could say a figment of my imagination but really they were all goals dreams that turn into goals and with goals we create the future in advance so i'm living proof i'm the kid that they voted most likely to die in high school because I was kind of nuts and rode motorcycles like a, like a madman. And look what I accomplished. So I'm telling you that because I know you have greatness inside of you. All you gotta do is follow your dreams, find what seeds have been planted inside of your mind by your higher power and follow your dreams and go for it. Set your goals high, work your ass off. There's no easy way. Uh, you got to work your ass off because although the universe will respond to your dreams and goals, you, you've got to put the work in. No one's going to do it for you. And once you start working your ass off and you start creating these dreams, people will start believing in you and helping you make it happen. And God works through people, so the right people will show up in your life help you accomplish your goals. Here's a dream and a goal. I wanted to get my CDL Class A, and it took me years to get my shit together and go to school and do it, but I did it. And... Uh, bought this semi it's it's not new it's an o2 but it's beautiful we spent a ton of time cleaning it up really nice and it's just set your goals high write down on a piece of paper what you want out of life and work your ass off i always say you can sleep when you're dead if you're going to accomplish goals like this there's going to be a lot of sleepless nights but it'll be worth it because you'll be driven by your goals so if no one's told you yet today thanks for watching uh, no one told you yet today i love you all and as always god bless the united states of america where dreams do come true.